so many of us spend our work behind a desk, even though we're out in the field, mm -hmm. you and I, we're still behind the desk putting our story together. Writing our stories together, together sure. That's right. And according to a new study, nearly 60% of us are packing on the pound, sitting for hours on end. But don't worry, you but can fight off. But the desk hides off. it. The desk does hide it. You want <laughs> to fight off perhaps it. those extra pounds, and you can do that without even leaving the office. Okay. I've probably gained 10 pounds as I've gotten older. I'm not sure it's caused by my desk job. Oh, totally. I think the office cube is uh, one of the worst things we can do for our health. The magic number, 10 pounds. That's the average weight desk workers gain, according to a new survey by Career Builders. It seems battling the bulge from behind the desk is a tough job. Any idea how much, how many pounds you might have put on? I, you know what, for the sake of my sanity, I haven't been tracking it. Do a little bit of activity, activity while you're sitting at your desk. Burning off those unwanted pounds can actually be done right at your workstation. Sit to stand squats at your desk, so gently touching your hips to the chair and then getting right up. That's a great way of getting yourself active and getting out of your chair. We also yeah. encourage people doing lunges as well because that's another activity that you can do that's close you know, to your workstation and also helps you get moving and it also doesn't really take too much focus off of your computer screen. Sometimes we even say move the chair away and stand for a bit. According to that survey, 30% of desk job workers say it's more like 20 pounds they gain, but not everyone is sitting behind a desk all day. Some people actually lose weight on the job. I've lost 10 pounds so far in my first three weeks best I've ever had. I make sure I have my slow moving vehicle caution sign. Prepping for the job is easy, but once the rickshaw is in motion, Corey Savard's on his feet 10 hours a day. Most I've done in a day, kilometers wise, I've done about four or five where I went nonstop around the whole city. It's definitely a workout. Just 16% of workers surveyed say they've lost weight on the job. In my office, we're all pretty young, so we all go to the gym. Mostly because workers say it's tough to eat healthy and fit a workout into a busy schedule. Do you take advantage of the lunch break and walk a lot? Not really, no, but I probably should. That's an honest woman. I was going to say, at least she's honest. How about an exercise ball? That's another thing. You can replace it with your chair mm -hmm. or get rid of your chair altogether. Stand for a little while. My wife sits on an exercise ball at work, mm -hmm. um, but I don't exercise during lunch. Not that I have time for lunch, but if I did, I wouldn't exercise. Bring in the ball. Bring in the ball? <laughs> maybe, maybe. You but I do bring my it. own lunch, so at least I know it's healthy. That's good. That's yes. a start, right? Absolutely. Any little thing.